Good day, folks. Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. I think it's time we look at one of these nitty gritty kitties. I have, I have three in various levels of distress. I was thinking, we'll go with this one that's heavily, heavily painted, just because these other two have interiors that aren't painted and dashes that aren't painted, so they still have a chance at a decent restoration. And a good life. So if this one's got a red interior that somebody painted and I'm worried that it could be stained now. So if I remove this red interior we might end up with a pink interior. Because then we'd have to go full custom on this unless I have a spare interior. So that's what we're gonna do today. Also I should let you know ahead of time that I don't have new decals, decals, tampos, water slides, whatever you want to call them. I don't have them. I ordered them and I ordered three sets but they're not here yet and I'm getting impatient and I just want to work on one of these cars because I love the Cougar body style. So I want to get started with one of these today and see where it leads us and then these two we will try to restore factory original with number decals on the sides make them look all badass. So I'm not 100% sure where the direction is going to be with this car today just because I don't know what kind of condition it's in. So we're going to take it apart and get started. So let's do it. Oh, also, I have a new mat. It's black. You know what they say. Yeah, so buddy's painted everything on this car. Pipes are painted, drive shaft, oil pan, fuel tank. I'll paint it up. Pretty cool. We're going to have to do a paint stripper on the base. Let's see what we got. I don't know what the original color is. Hopefully we'll see once we uh, open this up. We'll go from there. I love it when the cars are painted. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I'm going to kick it up size here, get to the next level. And then our final side to remove the old mushroom head here. Yep. Yep. Get a beefy pick here. Be able to just pry this little guy up. Oh, might need a little bit more drilling here on the front. Oh, there we go. Ooh, it looks like it was an orange cougar. That's cool. I don't know if we'll be going orange. It'd be nice to go orange. I like orange. Quite the mess we got here. Everything is painted. Alright, the axle's just dislodged. Wasn't actually bent up too bad. Maybe I'll just continue with that and prep this because we're gonna we're gonna need to go ahead and remove all this paint while we're stripping the body, so might as well. Do them at the same time. If I could get this just to cooperate with me. Axe is like, man, why you gotta do that? I've been I've been comfy here for 40 years. Jeez, that base looks real nice. Could have a gorgeous car under here, folks. We have no idea. Once we start stripping, we'll find out. We got a little bit of work ahead of us, but uh, you know what? It's gonna be fun. We can start stripping. Hopefully this thing isn't just completely sanded out underneath. It's got a metal engine, so I can just dab away on here. We're going to have to remove the engine later. So that we can do a proper paint job. 
Just gonna have to let this sit for a little while. Here we go, there's our little cougar. It's very nice. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna go give these a rinse and I'll come back. Here we are back from cleanup. It's looking pretty good. One side of the car has been pretty sanded. As you can see, that the rear body line on this door is almost gone compared to this side. So hopefully it's in pretty good shape. There's a lot of big sanding marks in it, but I'm going to try just wet sand it smooth and we'll go from there. Also, i got to pull this motor out so we can polish it separately and the engine bay of this car gets painted the color of the body as well. So it's going to look really nice when we do that. The base turned out real good. It was in pretty good shape when it got painted. Nothing wrong with that at all. I don't even know if I need to do anything to that except for, you know, get some wheels on there, etc. Just let the water shower over you. Let's see. Oh, it's rough. I just want to start off with a real light 400. Oof. Oof. Maybe 400 is going to be too much on this car. Oh, switch it down. Where's my spongy? To the sponge. Ooh, there's some deep scratchers in there. You see those? Got some nice big pits in the side here. That's a pretty nice car. You can really see how good that zinc polishes up. It doesn't take too much. Kind of looks like silver. I don't really see a continued need to just sand the piss out of this thing like we did on that T-Bird, so we're going to go easy here. Just smooth out a couple spots and then we'll try to polish this thing. Since everything's nicely pre-drilled already. Okay, there's our little engine, it's looking real nice, looks like I got to do a little bit more paint stripper under here, get that cleaned up, quite the journey this little cougar, while we're at it we'll put some on here, use our fancy mud pie we're up in compound, see how nice we can get this little guy looking. I just don't think this car is worth zinc plating at this time like it's pretty good as it is and I don't want to risk screwing it up by me bushcrafting my way through some zinc plating I think we should just go with how it is I think it's gonna look really good no matter which color we paint it so that's my thoughts well, if I can just hang on to it maybe uh, my fingers will get polished I think it's kind of cool half polished to be honest gives a little bit of uh, looks like it has kind of a wash on it I'm happy with that I'm gonna give this a clean got a little bit of rubbing compound on there and I'm gonna give the body a clean and then we're gonna decide on a color actually I gotta do these bases okay we got some stuff to do here I'm gonna clean this up first of all and I'll be right back all right so this is the part of the video where I do a random voiceover. What I'm going to do is show you some painting footage here in a minute. After I file these posts flat and drill them out. 
Yep, yep, I hate doing voiceovers. This is me filing. Mm-hmm. And then we have to make sure that the little baby post on our engine is perfectly flat. So this is me filing yet again. Look at me go. It's so much more fun than doing commentary. This is really awkward to watch without hearing the drill. So... Drilling out the posts to prep for the self-tapping screws. It's a fine job. It's a fine job I'm doing right there. I gotta say, it sure is nice to have my Talon airbrush back from retirement. I know it was only two days, but I was stressing out. And it turned out I was able to get my part I needed for about $13, so... I didn't buy a new airbrush today. I was going to buy like a spare. Just to have, just in case. I was going to buy the exact same airbrush again. That way I'd have two, but I didn't. So, add a little bit of hardener here. We're doing about 10 drops. Alright, here we go. I haven't touched this red since we did the beetle, so I'm very excited about this. Happy to have my paintbrush. Airbrush is back, working good. Here we go. Wow, so it's amazing that I haven't noticed this before, but I just noticed our roof is mashed in. <laughs> I don't know, we might paint it anyways, maybe we'll get away with it. Back to the kitty. This looks really nice. I got these axles I got to deal with. These are heavily painted. So these tires gots to go, I'm afraid. Thank God. What in the HE double hockey stick? is going on here these normally just shoot off across the room like that I don't know what to do with this I can't leave it the way it is stripping it is going to be a bastard and this as well both both going to be kind of nightmares so maybe I'll do the windshield first just because I've already done something like this before, but my God, we might be painting this black. I don't know. This is painted outside and inside. It's got black on the outside, red on the inside. Stupid fancy camera. We got an auto, auto light balance. It's stupid. Why is it? It's lighter with the black surface. Fine. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Primer and paint. How mature. Alright, well that was easy. Hard for you guys to see. But there's a big crack going through this windshield right here. So this is junk. Kick a field goal. <clears throat> So for the time being, I'm going to use this guy just because it is, it's got a nice front windshield and I'll get one on order to replace with. So just to get the car done, get the video done, we'll put this one in for now and I promise 
I promise. That I'll switch it out later. So for the past half hour, I've been very gently scraping away this paint. Contemplating life. Wondering what I did wrong to deserve this. I got most of the paint off as you can see. I tried soaking it with brake fluid again for a little while. But after about half an hour, I was just, I don't have a lot of extra time to wait on it. So luckily it comes off pretty easy. I'm just using the side of my pick like this. Like it's coming off pretty clean, so I probably won't paint it after all. I'd rather have the white interior anyways, just because it's factory and it's going to look better with the paint than black. Black's okay, but this is should be a little bit nicer, I think. There you go. There you go. Just like that. Could you imagine being the guy at the red line plant, just putting axles in all day? That'd be rough. There we go, there we go. Put these big old boots on the back here. Do, 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 do. This is going to be such a sweet car. I don't know which one's my favorite. Well, some of you guys are still probably mad that I painted this in enamel. Alright, this is the part of the video where I let you know that I lost the footage of me painting the car in enamel. So, surprise! Um, I have my reasons. One of them is that whoever painted it before sanded the body line off the side. So that made it kind of crappy looking right from the get-go. Also, the interior was painted, but we got that cleaned up now. And I didn't realize this until I was actually just ready to start painting the car. But the roof was smushed in. I got the other cougar here because I don't want to show you the new body yet but the actual roof was shifted to one side a little bit and one of the posts was bent and I was literally just about to spray it and I noticed it and I was like oh man like screwed this up so bad I love this car beep, 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 beep. I have this here because I want to compare the two at the end and see which one's more badass but I think we are at that time where I can do an assembly. Allow me to get the car. So the first thing we're going to do is reattach our engine. Everything's all pre-drilled. Just got to put our new screw in. Put this guy in here. Make sure. Nice white interior. Nice shiny base. I gotta do that more often. Just leave it in the leave the base in the old polisher for a couple days. That worked out really well. Quite pleased. Eh. Eh. <clears throat> oh sure the back one goes in like a dream so i gotta do a couple more details on this thing taillights grill etc but i'm willing to show you this right now <laughs> is that not the sweetest car you have seen look at it I love it. 
Doesn't even phase me. This body line, there's supposed to be a door here. However, on a custom Cougar, it's not supposed to have a body line, so that's kind of weird. You know, they're similar, yet different. Check out this side. You see the door? This side? No door. Also, this car was pretty pitted up. You can't see it because I did a good job on the paint, but there was a lot of pits along this, the sides here, and you just wouldn't get a finish like this with the pits you would have saw on this car. So the other day I was just sitting around thinking, man, I wish I had like a competition green nitty gritty kitty in like real life because this car just screams F with me. Check out the big spoiler in the back. We're going to do our taillights in a minute here. I'll show you the grill. It's got the little chin spoiler there. Can you my chin? Very cool. I love this casting. I'm so happy that I have two more of these to do and we're going to do them up factory style so you guys can stop hyperventilating. Just to get you guys to remember what this car looked like, it was almost identical to this. Except it had a big dirty arrow on the hood. So we went from this to this. And I feel pretty good about that. And I love the way this car looks. And I'm going to cherish it forever. Alrighty then. Really hard to do from behind the camera. I want to have my nose right up against the back of this car. However, I get to be way behind. So I use the Sharpie just to blacken this a little bit. And I don't want it to look brand new. I want it to look kind of used. But I didn't want it to just be bare. Put a little, using a little swab here just to pull a little bit of black out of it so it looks, trying to get it as even as I can. There it is. She's looking real good. I like what's happening here. Really nice little car. Maybe we'll throw this up on the old turntable. I really wanted this to happen, so hopefully you let me get away with it this time. I promise the next two Nitty Gritty Kitties I'm going to do up factory. I got decals. They should be here next week. Decals. I mean decals. Decals, if you didn't understand me. I love everything about this car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one in a couple days. I'm doing a Red Baron, so we'll check that out. I just want to look at it. I want to look at it some more. Yes, yeah, so nice. <laughs>